Hey guys, want to show you guys how to set up a ExoCharts DOM. So I wanted to check out ExoCharts mainly as I want to make a comparison between all the order flow platforms. Um, I'm going to be comparing the pricing and the features and everything about each platform. If you don't know about ExoCharts, it is a order flow analysis platform that is mainly focused on crypto. Um, it is not a executions platform, though you can integrate um, some stuff here. So you can integrate TradingView, a bunch of crypto research platforms, exchanges, trading execution, and also journals. So if you do have any of these, you can use them for execution. Um, I'm going to X out of that as we are going to be setting up a DOM. So to open a DOM, you're going to click here at DOM. And we are first going to go here to select a pair. If you are not connected to any data or any exchange, you're going to have to go here to connections. I went into connections and connected through DX feed. So I'm going to go here to futures and we're on CME. I'm going to go down and open a ES chart. So you can see here, I'm gonna click on ES, and this is going to open the current contract. Um, first thing you're gonna see here at the top, we see the symbol and the data feed, um, the time frame, and we have a tick multiplier. Um, this is going to be useful mainly for those combining ticks, and it's gonna be very useful for those trading crypto, as this is um, mainly gonna be focused on crypto. Um, as ExoCharts has been created mostly for that. Um, next thing we see is we see settings. We have a center, auto center, and a clear, which is going to clear these trades here in the middle. So if I click that, we can clear those trades. And then at the bottom, we have a bunch of quick buttons here to add columns. Um, all these brighter colors are the columns that we already have open. So we have profile, we have the pulling and stacking, which I'm going to add. We have the bid and the ask. We have the sells and the buys or the trades. We have price and then we have a separated profile um, or a bid and offer profile here. And then we also have a tape, um, which is pretty cool. So they have a tape that is connected to the DOM. And then here is the header. And then we also have this meter down here which I'm gonna leave the meter and I'm also gonna leave the header as it is nice to have up at the top. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna change some of the settings and reorganize this profile how we want it. So I'm gonna go here to settings and we're gonna go down to width order inverse. Now this is gonna let us change the order of the columns from top to bottom, it is from left to right. So you can see the period profiles here on the left and here shows on the top. The only thing I want to change is I want this price to be over here just to the right of that. So I'm gonna click on the three dots here and move this price to the right of the period profile. Now that we have that done, that is all we wanna do. You can change the widths, but I'm gonna leave these as they look fine to me. Next thing we're gonna do is gonna to go to the colors um, this is where we're going to be able to change the colors of um, anything here. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a background here for the, the bid and the offer. So as you can see here at the bid ask profiles, we have the bid profile and then we have the background on the outside. So I'm going to first change the outside to be a dark blue here and we're going to make the background the same blue right there there we go and then we're going to do the same thing with the ask profile we're going to try to find a dark red if there's not any i'm just going to click on one of these that doesn't look very good so we're going to click i want to make this this color and i'm going to copy it to make sure that they're the same hit okay and then i'm going to make the outside that same color by just pasting click okay that didn't seem to work there we go. Now that we have that figured out, I'm gonna go here and change the sell and the buy so that it is red and blue instead of red and green. 
So we're gonna to go to the last trades. I'm gonna to go to this green and I'm gonna change it here to be a light blue. Click OK. There we go. So now we have that set up. <clears throat> Next thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is I'm gonna change the, the pulling and the stacking columns. So for the stacking, I'm going to put bid stacking as blue and the offer stacking as red and then the um, pulling as gray as that's kind of not supporting that direction. So we have the pulling and stacking up here. So the bid pull, we are going to put that as gray, which it already is. For the stacking, I'm going to put it as this. Um, we're gonna try this blue right here. I don't like that. We're gonna put it as um, this blue to kind of match this background here. Um, next thing I wanna do is we're going to do the same thing here. I'm gonna make this a darker red that kind of pops more. I choose that red and make it a little bit darker. You go there. And for the coloring, I pretty much like that for the most part. Um, the only thing I wanna change is this profile kind of has a candle connected to it. So I'm going to make sure that this candle is a red and a blue candle. So I'm gonna change this green to this blue. And same thing here, we're gonna change this delta to be a blue color. Now that we have that done, we are going to go and I'm gonna change the styling of the tape. So for the tape, um, we have a few things that we can show. We have it show tape. I'm going to also click show time and show price. So this way we have a time and the price. And I am going to, as you can see, we have it on the left side and we have it on the right side. I'm gonna have them all be aligned similarly just so that it's not um, disconnected. So we're going to do that later in the DOM settings. As you can see here, there's no setting for that. Um, for the filters, this is where we can set um, a highlight. So if, for example, it's over a certain amount of volume, let's say 15, so it highlights this one, um, we're gonna do we can add that here. So I'm gonna just leave it at 15 just for demonstration purposes. And we are going to change the tape by here in the tape colors to be a light blue. Let's see, let's do this blue. And then the red, we're going to change to dark red. And I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go back into filters and change it for demonstration purposes, just so it highlights them. I'm gonna change that to two, but we'll um, return that. So this one, I'm gonna want it to be um, dark blue and then light blue. So I'm gonna do light blue here, and then a dark blue for the background. Let's do this one, that looks good. So there we go. So now we have the highlights whenever we have a, over a certain amount of volume. Um, only thing I would love to see is if we had above ask or below bid, but I don't think that they have that in their settings. So you can have it um, highlight if they're over a certain amount of volume. So we're gonna change this back. I kind of like it to be like around 20. <clears throat> and then I am going to go back to the DOM. So in the DOM settings, um, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip this. So we're gonna go to profile period and I'm going to unclick this inverse profile as I like it to show like this. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to go through these, see if we have anything we wanna change. Um, in here for the last trades, we can change this reset period. Um, this is in milliseconds. I like it to be around 10,000 milliseconds for this reset. And then we have price. We can change the font. We can remove this. 
we can add it back and then we have all of the other settings here um, but for the most part um, this is what I like for the DOM and that's pretty much it for um, setting up the DOM here in ExoCharts.